first are, welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 11. God's Word says this. He also told this parable to some who had trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like the other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, and even like this tax collector. We see in this passage that Jesus is telling a story very specifically about those who had trusted in themselves for righteousness. So what we see throughout human history and even in our own experience is there's kind of two camps of righteousness. You've got that of self-righteousness, that we look to ourselves, who we are and what we've done and what we are doing to determine whether or not we are righteous. And then we've got that of Savior righteousness, that it is rooted in who Jesus is and what Jesus has done, what Jesus continues to do on our behalf as what has deemed us righteous. And so Jesus tells us this story of a Pharisee and a tax collector, and we see that the Pharisee enters into the temple and he prays to God, he prays this, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. This Pharisee is deeming himself righteous because of the comparison of other people that he says, I am not like him or her, thus I'm I'm a better, so I am now righteous. You see, this comparison is what leads him to the idea that he's righteous. Now, this is a faulty assumption because what comparison will always do, comparison will either make us arrogant or it will make us depressed, that we will look at others as the standard of righteousness and say, well, I'm doing better than them. Like, like I'm doing great. So you know what? That that pr- brings out in us this bit of arrogance. Or maybe we'll compare ourselves to others, like I'll never be like him or her. I'll never read my Bible or understand scripture like him or her. And so then we become depressed and discouraged. That's what self-righteousness will ultimately produce. Whereas in this savior righteousness, looking to the person and work of Jesus Christ as the means to which we are saved, the means to which we are counted as righteous, you know what it produces? is gratefulness. Lord, thank you that while I was dead in my sin, you sent Christ to rescue me. God, thank you. It produces a a posture and um, a heart of gratefulness. So today, as we look at this text, may we um, not trust in ourselves for righteousness. May we get out of the self-righteousness camp and plant our lives in the Savior righteousness camp, that we trust in Jesus and Jesus alone for our salvation and never that of comparison. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. God, I pray that by the power of your spirit, this text would get into our bones and it would change us into the likeness of Christ. Father, our hearts are comparison machines. Um, Lord, would you remove that from us and may we look to Jesus and to Jesus alone as our standard and as the giver of our righteousness. Father, we pray this now through the Son and by the Spirit. Amen. Amen.